Hey guys, today we're gonna build a squirrel house. I already built one that I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but we're gonna be building another one for my buddy because his squirrels keep getting eaten by hogs. So we gotta try to protect these guys. So I got a three quarter uh, sheet of plywood here. It's a recycled piece I found. So this is gonna be perfect to use, strong and uh, thick enough to screw it all together. What else are you gonna need? You're gonna need a drill, a drill, impact driver or screwdriver. I'm using uh, a the one and five eight screws, as that's what I have handy. A square pencil, tape measure, a saw. If you have a nail gun, a finishing nail gun, you can use that too. But I don't feel like digging that out. We're just gonna go with what we have here. So let's get started. And, and this is the first house we built. It's two levels. Uh, it has a feeder that you screw in on the side. Um, and that's about it. We have three squirrels born there last year and they're living in there as we speak. And then this was another, this used to be a birdhouse, but then converted it to a squirrel house as they started getting in there. So yeah, we're gonna try to do something like this, maybe a little, little bit bigger. So I'm not gonna waste your time showing you all the measuring and cutting. What I'm gonna do right now is cut the pieces I'm gonna need, at least most of them. Um, I'm gonna measure it all out so I can show you guys exactly what I cut, the sizing, uh, which then you can take notes and do it on your end. Uh, but honestly, I'm just making this up as I go. You should do the same design uh, what you want, you know, and as you want, you know, just make sure everything's even, you'll be fine. So I'll be back with. All right, guys, I got, I wanna, I wanna say the first half of a cut up. So if you come up here and take a peek, this is the idea. This will be the bottom floor in here. Uh, I got the side walls angled here at 20 degrees to match the back. And then we'll have the roof up here. So I'll show you guys all the pieces. We got the two sides. The sides are 14 by 16 inches. And then the top angle here is cut at 20 degrees. So it's slanted uh, for the roof correctly with this back piece here. Um, so two of these. The front, bottom is eight by 13 and a half. That goes over these two guys like this on both sides. That's why it's wider. So the front bottom is eight, 13 and a half. Then the back wall, it's 12 by 18. This is 12 inches wide. So you make a line down the middle, cut the angles. And to show you guys the angle is 15 and a half. So each side is 15 and a half, 12 middle here, cut your angles and that's it. Then the bottom base is 12 by 14. A uh, quick trick, since I'm gonna be, I'm not using glue, I'm just gonna use screws. I don't wanna start cracking the wood with the screws when I screw them in. So I'm gonna pre-drill the holes first. To know where to drill them so everything goes even into the other piece of plywood, you take another piece of plywood, just put it to the edge where you're gonna drill, make the line, and then we drill our holes. Once we pre-drill pre, pre them, we'll assemble it. So that's next. Okay. All right guys, I got the bottom back and the sides assembled. Uh, just so you guys know, the sides go like this, past the bottom piece. The back piece sits on top of the bottom piece in between the sides, at least based on uh, the measurements I have. So now we're just gonna put this front piece on, and soon you guys will understand why it's a short piece. So I'm gonna install this piece now. Two screws. the bottom floor now we're going to build a piece kind of like a balcony that will stick out here and on the sides so the screws can sit there and i already tested this design on my first side so i know it works so we're going to do that then i'm going to build a piece front piece here with the hole where they enter and then we'll do the roof and then we'll be done so i'll cut the pieces and we'll go from there then. all right guys i got the piece cut out so there was two ways of doing this cutting this around this cutting this off and building a separate floor, I wanted to do one, one piece design. So 
You know, I measured the width of the house. I spaced everything out based on the measurements I'm building this on. I'm doing four inch uh, sides and four and a half in the front. 21 and a half width, 18 and a half depth. Then the size of four inches. Then you take a piece of the wood, uh, the plywood. You can measure your space in here, which is gonna slide into this. So that leaves the 12 inside. And you gotta cut the back off here, and uh, you know, three quarters shorter than this, because you have the wall here. So this is 13. So this slides in like this. To uh, know where you're gonna be screwing, because what I'm gonna do is push this down and try to screw the inside in. Then I'm gonna screw the back from the back here. Level this out, get a level. Make your lines with a pencil here. Then you're gonna put a piece of plywood here to know exactly where this piece will sit. You'll drill the holes and then screw it in. Then we're gonna cut a piece here. Same design as this piece basically. So we're gonna start from here to here. So do the front. That's where the entrance will be. I'm not doing a feeding jar hole because this will be high up on a tree probably. So we're never gonna put food in there uh, for the squirrels. But what I am gonna do, found some plexiglass here. So I'm gonna do a little window for more daylight. I was thinking on the bottom, but if the squirrels have babies and stuff, you know, I'm sure they want their privacy. So if you look, this piece I just cut here, that will be the entrance to the bottom for them. Uh, similar to the house I built first time. And that's it. So I'll get this assembled. I'll do the front, then I'll show you guys next. All right, guys. So it's all assembled. Got the hole here for the window. Got my little piece of plexiglass that I'm gonna do after I paint the house. Just so they get some daylight. It just looks cool. Um, the front, so 12 inch white piece. And that's the inside. The reason I'm going inside, not outside, because I wanted to leave more space in the front for them to sit on. All I did is take the 12 inch piece, squeezed it in against this, measured it off and cut off the top so it's the same exact size. So now everything lines up nice for the roof. The entrance. Grab a piece of um, duct tape, clear tape, whatever you got, painter's tape. The inside is three inches. This one right now, what's left, the outside is about three and a half. So I measured it out in the middle. I guess that I'm gonna go somewhere in between so the opening is big enough. Um, three ways you can cut a hole. You can take a drill. Come closer. You can take a drill, and all you're gonna do is little hole, little hole, little hole, and you keep going around till you cut it out. That is like if you don't have any other tools, that, that's actually the first time I did my house because I was missing this guy. Um, so that, that's the long way, it works. You just drill in a lot of holes and it takes a lot of time. You can use a saw like this. We're gonna pre-drill a couple holes and just cut around. Or if you have one of these guys, you, know, you attach that and then you're just gonna go angle by angle by angle till you get the hole cut. That is one option. I'm going with the saw since I have it. So like I told you guys, all you're doing is pre-drill a couple holes to get it started. There we go. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna pre draw a hole, screw this in, and then we'll do the roof. Alright you guys, so the assembly is all done, this is what the inside looks like, Let's get the entrance, I did a little reinforced piece here uh, that the roof is going to sit on top of it, uh, in addition to this, it's just a 2x2, two two, 20 degree cuts to match it, same thing on the back because this is going to you know, help attach it to the tree, I don't want to just use the roof or the sides to attach this, you know, with some extra wood, so I did the same piece here, a whole piece in the back, so we just have something solid to screw into. Also, at the same time, it's holding the sides here. Maybe we'll do some railing later. Um, yeah, so the roof is gonna be from here to one inch over the front. And then the sides are 14. This is what the pieces look like. 20 degree cut on each one. So 
gonna make it flush in the back here. And then over here, it's gonna overlap one inch. So you see everything's under shade and rainproof and all that. So we're gonna screw this all together. We can use wood glue. I'm gonna use liquid nails. Drop it all over here and then screw it on. This with one solid piece. So I'll get that done and I'll show you guys the final product. So to measure exactly where I'm gonna be drilling into this, uh, put them both like this. I put one screw on, I was holding them in, and I traced everything under here with a pencil. Took a piece of plywood, made the other line, made the holes. So now I have my guide holes to install this. So I'm gonna start with the first one. At first I'm gonna uh, use the liquid nails, as I mentioned, or wood, wood glue if you have that, either one. So this will help waterproof the roof. use now the pencil mark as my guidelines too i'm just going to start with one for now just to line it up Just check and make sure everything's lined up. Okay, I think we're good. So now we can just screw it all down. Finished. There's a bunch more here, but I'm not gonna waste your time showing you how I put in the screws. But yeah, here's the house. It's a lot bigger than the other one I built, but uh, I've got a bigger tree to put it on, so why not? Two floors. Once I paint it, I'll probably maybe do like a little railing here just for fun. That's where the window's gonna be. And this is the back. We're gonna use all this to install it safely on a tree. So, paint. And I'll show you guys the final product. House is done. We got it all painted up. up. Per request of the new owner, we did the roof black. The body's red. Uh, I added a little railing too. Just found a 3 inch dowel. Used some nails to nail it in to give it a nice look. Plus, you know, something for the little guys to lean over. Here's the finished plexiglass that I was talking my window. And that's it. The one more thing I did was one, two, three, four, five holes on the bottom. Just in case water gets in so it can drain out. Um, not really ventilation, more for drainage. And that's it. Um, this is a really big house, which is going on a big tree. Hey guys, and here's the final product all installed. We are officially done now. Thanks for watching and come back for more.